I'm back to review the Sound Blaster X1 DAC, and if you don't know what a DAC is, well, stay tuned and get ready to do some learning. Let's do this. Now I once again must express that I am not an expert. In fact, the entire concept of a DAC is very new to me and saying it doesn't even sound like a word anymore. Now I recently reviewed the Sound Blaster Katana V2 soundbar and was blown away by the quality of the sound as well as by their funky coded XXFI feature. This of course had me falling into the interwebs to get a better grip on what exactly a DAC is. And now for those of you who want to know beyond just saying it's a digital to analog converter, here is the quick and dirty on it. It doesn't matter if we're talking computers or CD players or shoot, even your phone itself. When you get a digital audio signal, something has to convert that into analog that you hear, either through an amp or through headphones or through some source one way or another. All audio devices have some sort of IC or chip that does that for you. And in your computer, it's generally your sound card. Now I go way back in PC building and I remember when if you wanted a proper sound card, you'd go with Creative Labs. The Sound Blaster 16 or 32, it went through multiple iteration after iteration of improvements to sound better and better. And then one day I just stopped caring. In fact, I'd venture most of you watching out there are only using the built-in sound card that came with your motherboard. I mean, why not, right? It does what it's supposed to do and it plays the audio through the speakers slash headphones Phones or whatever you're using. Here's the thing, it actually makes a massive difference. Now, if you're primarily using dollar store headphones, you may not notice anything, but testing the X1 on a couple of different quality HyperX headphones or JBL speakers or JBL headphones, or you get the gist, the audio is way, way richer. Now, what I mentioned with the Katana VT review still holds true. I can't just show you the difference because your hardware is staying exactly the same. It's like those TV commercials that show how much you're missing out with the ultra rich, high definition 4K screens when you're watching it on your phone. It just doesn't make sense. Audio doesn't translate well if I just play it. If however you're curious about what a difference a DAC is, the X1 goes for $70 US on the Creative Web Store. So at least it's not a massive investment and at the size smaller than your pinky, you plug it into your USB-C port on your PC, it downloads the drivers, that's it. The thing is, without trying it, I really would not have even considered it. And here's the thing, just like all our reviews, I make nothing on you buying it. However, if you're curious about pimping out your audio on what I would say is relatively cheap, I'd honestly say it's worth it. It will surprise you. If you want richer audio, if you're happy with what you have, then hopefully this video just helped you understand what exactly a DAC is or digital audio converter. And that's another Barefoot Gaming review. You know the drill, like, subscribe, or don't. I'm not the boss of you. I will, however, talk to you again really, really soon. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.